Hey, what's up everybody? I'm on the ground. It's calm. Going to a different spot where I can use my gun. Uh, see you in the water. Well, here it is when I jump in. And I don't know if you can see it just swimming away. As soon as I jumped in, there was a nice size uh, Omilu just swam out. So I'm trying to get out, the current is pushing me in, so I'm just kicking, staying in one spot, and um, just taking my time, uh, going through the bubbles, and once I get through there, uh, it's time to load up the gun, I'm scanning the grounds, and uh, it doesn't look like there's as much life in, in the water as uh, there was last week. Um, but it's great to be out and getting to use my gun. Um, so I'm going to load up my two bands and go off hunting. So I swam to the north and I found this um, boulder field. And there was this pocket. And you can see it right there that I was uh, wanted to drop down behind and hide behind that big rock that you see kind of in the center of the screen to the left. Uh, I was looking for uh, an Inui, so I make my drop, and I thought I saw something coming up on my left, so I turned my head and that made my drop go a little crooked, uh, which I shouldn't have done. So I land a little off to the side, and I swing back around, and the boulder is super smooth, so there's really nothing to hold on to. There's a nice blue uhu in the back, uh, it was a little too far. So this is really shallow. I swing my gun to the other side and trying to find a handhold, but there's nothing there. So I wedge my body against the side of the boulder, uh, looking, doing a little grunting, uh, looking for the Ninui, but I kind of spooked the fish uh, with that uh, gun movement. So that was my first drop in the shallows. Nice warm up drop. No shot. So as I was swimming further north, I saw this uh, a lot of uh, small needlefish or aha in the water. So I dropped down vertically to try to take a picture of it, but um, they kind of swam off. So I thought I'd just give you a 360 view of the grounds. You can see as you go out to the deep, there's not much structure there, so not much life there. That's the area that I'm hunting in. So I swam further north and um, kind of close to the cliffs. You can see how it, it drops off, so I'm breathing up and uh, I'm gonna make a drop here. I thought I saw a nice sized moonu dip into the rock. So I'm dropping down and this is pre pretty much the maximum depth that I go nowadays. So I dropped a little bit too far off so I'm making my way back um, to the um, boulders to hide behind. So I have my handhold and I'm looking. I don't see the munu, but I see a nice fat nai nai. So I'm lining up on it. Take the shot and it was a perfect shot. It actually went right through the eye. Um, those aren't stone shots, uh, but they're nice holding shots. So I got my first fish, which is a nai nai. And, um, I like to use these to uh, make uh, fish nuggets or you know just basically cut them up and fry them uh, they're they're pretty delicious so my first shot you can see it right there perfect so I dispatch it and put it on my stringer so I swam off more looking for um, you know, maybe one more fish. And I swam in a little bit. Uh, my knee was starting to bother me. I don't know why. I'm thinking it's because of... Um, I'm not doing as much uh, kicking on the bag. And that really helps strengthen my knee. So I get my handhold here. 
and I see a King Cole, nice big one, uh, but it's right up against the rock. I don't want to shoot it until it gets into the open. As soon as it goes, take the shot. It wasn't the best shot, it went right through the body, um, but I have my second fish. So this, this area was um, pretty close to the area that I dove last week. Um, there's some nice big King Cola here. Uh, so I, you can see this is a nice fatty and um, wasn't the best shot. I was trying to go for a head shot, um, but I landed it. So, so far, uh, two shots, two fish, and I think that's pretty much it for me because um, actually my, my knee was really starting to bother me now so I didn't even bother even putting this on my uh, stringer I just left it on the line and put the spear back in my gun and decided to swim in so I'm swimming in here and um, looking for my uh, where I jumped in at and you can see the bubbles coming in it was pretty calm, um, but um, you know, still, it's it's pushing you out. So this is kind of like a one good safety thing. So, actually, I was really lucky because about half an hour after I got out of the water, the winds really picked up and the waves really picked up. So uh, it, you know, even though it looked, it's calm when you get in. It's not necessarily going to be calm when you get out. So. I'm kicking and just relaxing and you know some people like you know, you know panic and uh, especially when I take um, new people out you know they feel like they're not moving so they kick hard and they cramp out just just chill out you know just play the surge and um, you get in no problem so this is another th thing is like when you jump in it's really easy to get in sometimes it's not so easy to get out and you'll see why. So I jumped in off this ledge. And you can see the top of the ledge is maybe a foot above the water. So I'm trying to find a handhold here. So I can throw my gun up so I can get out. So you notice when the, when the waves come in, it goes maybe a foot from the top but when the when the waves go out you know you're like three four feet from the from the ledge just depending how big the surge is so I'm trying to uh, find uh, how I'm gonna get my foot foothold so uh, what I'm doing here is I'm taking off one fin and uh, especially since I dive alone uh, I don't like to take off both fins and just in case you know there's a, a rogue wave or something that knocks me off and you know I want to be able to or it just really picks up because especially in this area sometimes uh, the waves just come in you don't even know it so I want to be able to uh, you know at least swim e easily should the surf just pick up on me so there there you can see what, when the wave went out how much it, difference there is from the top of the ledge to uh, where I have my foothold so I am I trying to climb up pull myself up and I made it safe and sound so you can see there it's like the uh, difference from the uh, w water to the top of the ledge and it's sometimes you know it, it, as I said it's only like barely a foot. Well, two shots, two fish. Pretty good size. Anai and I at a King Kole. Got dinner. It was a pretty good dive. I saw Papio as soon as I jumped in. Uh, this spot's pretty cool. Thanks for watching and aloha.